it now. It's really nice. So we're here with a special guest today. We're here with Mike Roth. Hi, Mike. How are you? Good. How are you? You've been on before because yes. we recognized each other from yes, a couple of years ago. That's a good thing. Um, you are the conductor of the North Jersey Concert Band. Correct. Now, this is your hobby passion, correct? Yeah, and a former uh, occupation. I was an entertainer many, many years ago. I don't okay. want to say how many years that is either, <laughs> but uh, yes. So what, is, what do you actually do for a living now? I personally am a building principal in a school district in New York State, just up the road a little way. Oh, nice. Uh, but I've kept my hand in music, as have most of the players in the group. Okay. Are, they come from all different walks. Now, this is a volunteer group that mm -hmm. comes together. Correct. But you're the conductor. Right. So you make them all sound wonderful. Well, I try. Good. I try. <laughs> and when are you going to be on campus? We're going to be here next Monday. Okay, the 25th. The 25th. Uh, I think it was mentioned earlier in the, uh, the sequence of events, which, by the way, wow. Isn't that awesome Incredible, how much? Incredible, the, the number of things that are going on. I, yeah. I think we should become the band in residence so we could take advantage of that or something. Oh, that might be fun. <laughs> that might be fun. So next Monday, the 25th, 7.30. Right. 7.30. And the Woodland Commons Conference Center. That's great. Tickets are $5 and required. Mm -hmm. But talk to us about what you're going to be playing. Well, the great thing about a concert band is we can pretty much play everything. Mm -hmm. And we have arrangements of everything from music of the great masters, from the 18th and 19th and early 20th centuries, mm -hmm. right up to some of the modern music. We do a lot of uh, show music from Broadway. Mm -hmm. I think that was mentioned briefly earlier as well. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of that. This concert, because we're so close to July 4th, we're going to kind of concentrate on the music of America. Oh, nice. We're going to honor our veterans during that, and we're going to make sure we play some Sousa marches, which is always a fan favorite. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just tr want to try and focus on that because it is a great time of year. I tell you, those Sousa marches just makes you want to get up. Get up and march. Get up and march, right? March around, get some exercise. I, our residents are extremely patriotic, mm -hmm. and we have wonderful dances and things, and they mm -hmm. will literally go around the entire dance floor with their flags. It is, it's wonderful and fabulous to see. Well, we'll see if we can get them up then on Monday. So you've got, how many pieces are coming with you on Monday? It varies because we are a, an, a volunteer group, mm -hmm. but we generally carry between 35 to 45 members, so we'll have around 40. Okay. And uh, everyone from young high school, freshmen in high school, okay. all the way through to as long as anyone wants to play. And that's the wonderful thing about music, is it not? Mm -hmm. You can do it your whole life. And th that is the wonderful thing, and you can enjoy your whole life, mm -hmm. and that's why the residents really enjoy these concerts. So you're going to be playing Broadway show tunes, you're going to be play, playing patriotic, uh, you're going to have a ball. Right. And we're hoping maybe even some of the residents will want to join us oh, in nice. the future because we're just up the road. We rehearse every week in uh, Oakland, New Jersey. Okay, that's not far. And uh, there's a church in the center of town, the mm -hmm. Ponds Church, that we rehearse in. They're, they're gracious enough to give us some space to rehearse and it's very nice of them. And so we have volunteers come every week, pretty much. We've had people come. Mm -hmm. In and out, you know, what people are doing in life, mm -hmm. so it changes. Uh, but just re last week we had two new members again, so it's, it's a very fluid group. There are no auditions. Mm -hmm. You can just come if you played in high school and you put your instrument in the closet for 30 years and you want to get it back out. We've had people that have done that. So, Mike, how do you put all of these different age groups and talents together? What's the hardest thing about being the conductor? I have to be honest and say there's nothing hard about being the conductor really? with this group because when people come to a volunteer group, uh -huh. they're doing it because they love it. True. So, and that's with any endeavor. Mm -hmm. But with music, you have that added benefit of everyone speaking a common language. Mm. Everyone is speaking the language of music, and it's a positive atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And if you're new to the group and you come and you play the saxophone, mm -hmm. we have members that have played the saxophone with us for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and they embrace you and bring you in right away. It's very, nice. very positive and nurturing environment. So there really isn't anything hard about it. <laughs> very cool. And that means that you're an excellent leader because you keep that positive environment going because that's very difficult. So oh, thank, you. thank you for bringing your talents here. Again, that's going to be Monday, May the 25th, 7.30 in the Woodland Commons Conference Center. Please get your tickets at box office. They are $5 and required. It is going to be fabulous. So come on out to hear the North Jersey Concert Band. Thank you, Mike, for being here. I thank just you. want to say thank you.